Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a fun lip swatch party for y'all today of the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. So Wet n Wild was so kind and sent me this beautiful package of all the different shades. So I thought it would be a fun video to do and helpful for you guys to see swatches on my lips as well as on my hand, just so you can get an idea of the different shades in these. So yeah, if you are new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore. Get ready with me some fashion content just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel so if you're new I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while I'd love to have you here on my channel so yeah we are doing a fun lip swatch party so let's get to it okay so let's start out talking about the formula and packaging on these just really quickly I love the packaging I think is adorable has this kind of little border right here um, obviously you can see through to the color inside. So I like that. It's cute, happy packaging. The formula on these, they are a true lip mousse. So they have a moussey sort of a feeling on the lips. Um, I would, I would say moussey and slightly hydrating. So I do really like the formula of them. They're not going to be that super opaque, definitely not transfer proof sort of a liquid lipstick, but I really like that about them because I don't wear liquid lipsticks a ton. I actually really prefer something like this that has a little bit more hydration and just feels a little bit more comfortable on the lips. So I love the formula of these. They smell amazing. Oh my goodness. Like marshmallow cream or vanilla cupcakes or something like that. They smell amazing. They are strongly scented, but like not off-putting. I really like the scent of them. So yeah, that's just a little info about the product. Okay, let's jump on in with the different shades. So let's start with Cloud Chaser. This is what I have on my lips right now. This is a light peach is how I would describe this color. It is kind of more on the neutral side-ish. It's slightly brighter though. It's kind of a um, a light peach. I would definitely pair this with a lip liner. If I weren't doing a lip swatch party video, I would definitely pair this with a liner just for wearing it out, just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. But I think this is a pretty one for mixing with another one for kind of an ombre sort of a lip. So this one is Cloud Chaser. This next one is Pour Some Sugar On Me. Pour Some Sugar On Me. So this one I would describe it as a slightly brighter peachy coral. So there is that one right there. I think this is a cute color for spring and summertime, but really any time of year is fun. This would be really pretty mixed with that one. So yeah, I think this um, goes on pretty evenly too. The lighter shade, I didn't mention that, but I think that one went on pretty evenly too for being such a light shade. Sometimes those can be a little bit patchy, but I'm impressed with both of these. Both of, This one too, I would wear with a lip liner as well. This one is Cotton Candy Skies. This one is more of a bubblegum pink, but I like that it has a little bit more depth to it. So it's in that family of a bubblegum pink, but just with a little bit more fuchsia. So I think it makes it a little bit more wearable. Uh, I really like this one. This one is one of my favorite shades. I think it's super cute. You could pair this with more of a mauve lip liner to kind of um, tone it down a little bit, but still really fun, full on, super cute color. Ooh, I love this color. This one is Candy Wasted, and this is kind of a brighter fuchsia, is how I would describe this one. So it's a little bit less bubblegum pink, has a little bit more depth to it. It is bright and pretty. Oh, I love this one. It's such a fun, happy, bright color. You could pair it with that one. That would be really pretty. That's the cool thing about this formula is that you really can kind of do that ombre sort of a lip because it doesn't just stick and set down so quickly. It keeps that moussey texture. So this one is super pretty. This one I didn't think I would like, but it's actually way less scary and I think a lot more wearable on the lips and it looks in the container. So this is Sugarholic. Sugarholic and it is a bright orangey coral shade. Even in the swatch, I feel like it looks brighter and more scary. But on the lips, of course my lips are naturally kind of a mauve sort of a color, so that might be part of it. But there is that one, Sugarholic. So it's really a true kind of bright orange shade. I will say it does look like it's kind of clinging to some of the dry patches on my lips, but my lips are pretty dry right now because I did lip swatches yesterday too. So they're not very happy with me. 
I tried to hydrate them. But anyway, this one does seem to cling a little bit more than some of the others, so you'd probably want your lips to be in pretty good shape to wear this shade. But I think it's still fun. This is one of my very favorite shades. This is Fluff You. So pretty. This is, I would say, a kind of raspberry red shade. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. You can really apply this kind of lightly. That's another nice thing about this formula is it's moussey, so you can apply just kind of a light layer and get almost a little bit of a tint on your lips. But then you can build it up more and get a little bit more color. It's always going to keep that kind of moussey, not super opaque sort of a look, but I really, really like that. And I love this color. Beautiful kind of raspberry red. Another one of my favorite shades. This was actually the very first color I purchased for myself when these first released. This is Marshmallow Madness. And I would describe this as kind of a wearable, um, coral, rusty sort of a shade. Really beautiful. Again, you can apply this lightly and just get this kind of more, almost neutral, depending on your lip color, sort of a shade. Really, really like this a lot. One of my very favorites, Marshmallow Madness. Oh my goodness, one of my new favorite shades. I think this has to be my new favorite actually. Not just one of, I think it is my favorite now. This is Don't Sugarcoat It. And oh my goodness, this is a gorgeous, like raspberry berry sort of a color. That is gorgeous. It goes on evenly. I think it's a bright statement lip, but not super neon. It's just bright and happy and fun and flattering on the lips. This is amazing. I love, love, love this color. Ooh, and I'm running out of room on my hand and we've got more to go. Another gorgeous one. I love this one too. This is I'm on Cloud Wine. Adorable name. And this is more of a purpley wine color kind of moving towards an ox blood compared to the last one really pretty and flattering on the lips too this isn't clinging to any dry patches on my lips so pretty really really a beautiful kind of wine color like a purpley wine it's gorgeous this next one is marsh to my mallow adorable name and i really really like this color again this is one of my favorites i would describe this as Kind of a deeper mauvey berry brown color this is stunning neutral um on me it's a little bit more of a statement lip but i still really really like this i would totally reach for this one a lot Ooh, and it's like even went on really nicely it's a good one i guess these last three i'll just swatch them over here on the side of my hand so this one is girl you're whipped girl you're whipped and this is kind of a neutral um, peachy pink sort of a color. So there it is right there. And compared to that first one and second one, that was Cloud Chaser and Pour Some Sugar On Me. And then there is Girl You're Whipped. So a little bit deeper than those, kind of more on the pinky mauve side. Gorgeous color. I mean, this is totally one that would just live in my purse. Great shade. I believe this one, this is one that I had already purchased for myself. I can't, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure. This next one is Fluffer Nutter. Fluffer Nutter, adorable name, that's so funny. Um, it's kind of a tan neutral, is how I would describe this one. It's a lighter shade. I would pair this with a lip liner if I were to wear it by itself, but I think also you could mix it with some of these other colors, kind of as a highlighting shade on the inner part of your lips. Uh, yeah, just kind of a light tan sort of color. Wow, this one really surprises me. I didn't think this was gonna work very well for me. This is Love You S'more. Love You S'more. But I actually really like this on me too. This is going to be gorgeous on so many people. This is a really beautiful kind of chocolatey brown, more on the cool tone side. It went on evenly. I think it looks flattering on the lips. This is gorgeous. So on me, it's a little bit more of an edgy statement lip, but I really like it. I like this one a lot. Okay guys, so that was the last shade. So here is another look at the colors. I will do a close-up shot for y'all. So many fun shades in this group. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how I would pick shades that are my favorites. I would say Love You S'more, Marsh To My Mallow, I'm On Cloud Wine, um, Fluff You. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I like both of the berry shades. Oh, don't sugarcoat it. 
I mean, so many good ones. I just love these. Such a good formula and beautiful and they smell amazing. They're good. Okay, you guys, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what your favorite shade was that I showed or what is your favorite shade that you own personally. I would love to hear your thoughts on these. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.